in relation to players coming in from some of the European leagues. Um, you know, Celtic have signed players in the past from European leagues who've come here and, and they just couldn't cut it. A Yeti mm -hmm. is a good example. Scored for fun in Switzerland, um, went at West Ham, couldn't cut it and, and hasn't cut it in Scotland. So you're always taking a chance, I think. Samaras apparently advised them to come to Celtic. He's the president of the club over there. He's from uh, Crete and the, the Celtic fans loved him. Barry, you'd, did you play against? Uh, yeah, you did against, indeed. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was, yeah, uh, he was a dangerous, yeah, he was uh, a dangerous yeah. um, player. He was, he was decent. He, he was uh, on his day. Um, Big Samaras could, could uh, certainly win a game of football with a bit of magic. Ooh, ah, that's what they said about him, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I certainly didn't say that. No, did, did you give him a few ooh, ahs a couple of times, Barry? There's a few good tussles out. Uh, Edward, 14.5 million plus the add ons. They're saying about 18, 18.5 million. Scott Brown to Aberdeen. Um, who else has gone? Uh, Okoflex to West Ham. Jack Henry, who's moved again. Well, yeah. well they flipped him. Yeah. I mean, they'd, they'd, Ostend have made 5 million quid in him. Mm. I don't know who the, who did the deal, who made it a 1.5 million option no. for for Ostend, who at Celtic came up with that one, but they need their backside kick. Well, the thing is, they made Ostend a million. have made five million quid on him, and of course, Celtic got one million. Yeah, apparently, apparently. I, know. I know. You know, Ryan Christie been all out on his course. contract down. Yeah, crazy. And Ayer has gone, of course. Um, who else? Uh, and Cham has been released, and uh, Lee Griffiths up to Dundee. I thought it was a bit rich that Lee Griffith said, oh, I feel, you know, I'm welcomed, I'm wanted at Dundee. Do you not think that he was given every chance at Celtic? Probably given too many chances. Mm. And I've, I've been guilty of defending Lee Griffiths yeah. because I, I really did hope and feel there was still a player in there. Um, but you're right, Celtic have looked after him. They've gone above and beyond to try and get him back into shape. And he hasn't played ball. He hasn't done his bit by, by getting match fit. So he can moan all he wants, but he had every chance. What do you think of the window, Davy? Have Rangers done enough over the past few months? Are Celtic doing enough to challenge them, do you think? I think, I think Rangers had a good window mm. in that they didn't lose Morelos or Kent. Mm. They've, they've lost players on loan that they can afford to, to, to lose. Um, Celtic, by losing Edward and Christie, have lost two boys that we, we know can cut it up here, that can be very good up here. We still don't know how good the boys are that are, that are coming in. Going to be the key question, Barry, isn't it? Will they be strong enough? The, will they settle well, in? The well, the good thing players? for Rangers is that this group of players know each other inside mm. out. In terms of Celtic, they're bringing a lot of numbers in, and it's, it's sometimes difficult to integrate them into a certain way of playing and, and getting used to what they're going to be counting. Because I tell you, these players that Celtic have signed, certainly the, the three yesterday, won't know what's hit, uh, hit them when they, they come into the stadium and they see the atmosphere and they see the, the pressures that are under. That, that's the advantage Rangers have got. They've kept all their big big players. They've no sold any and they've added early doors in the window. Do you think they got offers, Barry? Do you think Rangers got offers yep. for yeah, Morelos, yep. Kent? And... But they were adamant, David, that they wouldn't sell. They had a certain price on each player's head right. and if that wasn't met, they weren't selling. I see, though, that Stephen Gerrard did say a few weeks ago, Morella is all this talk about it. I don't know where the interest is. Yeah. I don't think there was a firm... I think at Kent, there was clear interest yeah. in Ryan Kent. Mm -hmm. I think there was a bit on Kamara mm -hmm. and certainly uh, Barisic. And it looked like that on Sunday when Barisic after the game. It was a bit strange. What was that all about? I, I don't know. I don't he know. thought he was going. That's yeah. what it was about. He definitely thought he was going. Yeah. Something's happened there. There's, there's a move there that's fallen mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would player wouldn't react like that after the from yeah. I know he's happy he's won the game, but... Yep. It was almost like a personal thank you to the Rangers fans. Mm -hmm. This is my this is my final bow here, wasn't it? And he left them with that corner kick, didn't he? Which he took perfectly, and uh, yeah, Hollander did the rest. It wasn't his best game. I've got to be honest yeah. with you, Barisic. Mm -hmm. I, I says that on Sunday. Some of his deliveries were were a way off, but the one bit of uh, quality in the game was a corner kick from Barisic, um, and obviously Hollander knocked that into the net. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.